Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to have this update on my hair crisis. If you haven't seen that video, I will have a little card up here and I will also have it linked down below. So basically in that video I was talking about how my hair was falling and I talked about all the crazy things that I was going to do to help it grow. And so in this video I'm going to tell you guys my results. So stay tuned and see if my crazy tips so I said that I was going to be sleeping with a neat bun in my hair or either with a braid and I definitely recommend that because every time that I that I go to sleep my hair always gets naughty and then when I brush it you know it causes breakage but I've been sleeping with it all the time like there is not one night that I that I didn't sleep in it like that and so that really helps out. I said that I was going to be massaging my hair with that little weird thing. And yeah, that only lasted like two weeks because I just, I didn't have the time to just be massaging my head, you know. But I did do that for two weeks. And I mean, I think it works. I need to start trying to do it more, you know. But um, I think it works. But I just, I, honestly, I didn't do it for like two weeks. But I've been taking my my multivitamin and my biotin every single day and I know that it has been working because I have not had any breakouts this whole month and my nails I have to keep them short for school and I've already had to cut them twice in like three weeks because they got past my fingers or whatever and so yeah I know that that stuff works I know I know it's doing wonders <laughs> so um, I've been doing that, and uh, let's see, I've been using um, the shampoo and conditioner and doing the um, oil masks. I said that I was going to try and wash my hair less frequent than I have, and I've also been doing that. Okay, so my results are, yes, my hair has significantly decreased um, in the amount of hair that has been falling off. It still falls off, but not as bad as it used to. Since I've been doing so many things, I don't really know exactly what particular thing contributed to that um, because I was doing so many things at once, but I don't know, everything works, so hey, I do everything. <laughs> For sure, I do know that it's not, I was, I was kind of scared that it was like a medical issue or something that my hair was falling off. But I know for a fact that it was because of stress, like some of you guys had mentioned in the comments. By the way, I love all the feedback that you guys left me in that video. Thank you guys so much for your suggestions, recommendations, and concern. And um, so I know it was stress because I filmed that video on September 2nd. And I was stress-free stress -free at that time because that was my little um, summer vacation from school. But then I started school on September 14 and unfortunately within one week I started school and already had an exam the next or a quiz um, the following week and um, the Friday after I started school I lost my cousin and exactly the next Friday after that I lost my grandfather. So it was a lot of emotional stress. I am such an emotional person that um, that I noticed that at that time, even though I was doing everything that I was doing for my hair, my hair was falling off so much, so much. So I definitely, definitely know it's because of stress, um, which, you know, kind of makes me feel a little bit better just because I know it's not any medical issue, you know. So another thing that was really stressing me stressing me out at the time was also, if you guys had watched my chit chat get ready with me video, if you haven't, I will also have that over here and linked down below. Um, I had talked to you guys about how we were in the process of buying a home and all this, yada yada. So I was really stressed out packing and trying to get everything ready for us to move and the seller was being a total jerk to us and he didn't want to sell us house. Basically, I was stressing out and packing for absolutely no reason because he told us this exactly five days before our closing date. So it was just horrible. But anyways, we're looking for another house. You know, it was probably just not meant to be. But we're just looking for another house, you know. Oh. As far as my hair growth, it has not grown. It's still the 27 inches. Um, which is okay. I didn't really think it was gonna grow, but hey, you know, I was hoping maybe something some miracle would happen 
But I mean, at least it didn't shrink, right? <laughs> I want to talk to you guys about this shampoo and tell you guys my thoughts. So I definitely recommend the shampoo. I think it works very well. This is the L'Oreal and it's sulfate free, which is why I wanted to get it. And um, I noticed that the first time that I was using this, my hair started getting really greasy, like greasier than usual. But I kind of researched it, like why is my hair getting so greasy? And I read that sulfates in the shampoos are like super, like they're like the awesomest cleansers. So that's why it's really rough and um, damaging to the hair because it cleans it like r too good, you know what I mean? It takes off all the oils and stuff and that's why our hair gets dry and damaged. That people who have super oily hair maybe shouldn't use a sulfate free shampoo because it won't cleanse their hair thoroughly. Um, but I was like, what? Okay, well I have this shampoo and I'm going to use it. So I still kept on using it. So after the first week, I noticed that my hair wasn't as greasy as it usually gets. So I've been actually washing my hair every... I wash it, don't wash it for two days, and then wash it again. I wash it like three times a week, which is awesome because usually I always had to wash it every other day or else my hair would be so disgusting. Usually my hair, it's crazy, like within 24 hours, it's greasy, like it starts getting greasy. Like if I take a shower at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the next day, it's going to start getting greasy. Like I know it. At 2 o'clock, it's still okay, but at 3 o'clock, greasy. I don't know what it is, but my hair is very punctual. <laughs> only, you only need a little bit because it suds up so much. And I read that sulfate free shampoo doesn't really suds up, but this does su suds up. And um, you only need a tiny bit. So this is the exact same... Um, bottle that I that I've had since September 2nd and I still have about one to two more uses in here it's already been a month and it's and it's still good and this was really inexpensive it was about six dollars at Walmart so it's probably around that price range at any drugstore I know that this has helped with my hair loss because as it doesn't fall off as much and the reason I know that is because you know you need a little way of measuring it you know for it to it for it to be the legitimate it's really gross, but <laughs> I know that it's working because I don't clog up the showers anymore. Like, I used to seriously clog up the showers because my hair would fall off so much that the little drain would get full of hairs and the water would start, like, collecting, you know? So, yeah, that's so embarrassing and gross, but my hair doesn't do that anymore. Only a couple of hairs do fall off here and there, and it's not, like, bunches before that would just come off, like, bunches. So I really do recommend this shampoo. I think you should buy it. It's inexpensive and it works. There's probably shampoos out there that are way better, but they're also way more expensive. But I really like this one. As far as for the conditioner, um, I was just using this Suave. I didn't really know what conditioner to get. Um, I, I just wanted this because it had keratin, but I really didn't notice anything like super special about it. Or frizzy, unmanageable hair. I do not have frizzy hair, so I don't really know if it worked. But what I do know is that this thing smells amazing. Ugh, it smells so good. I just, I, oh, it matches my shirt. <laughs> I love it. I think I would repurchase it just because it smells so freaking good and the smell lasts in my hair for I would say like two days and people have uh, like complimented like damn girl your hair smells good and I'm like oh, thank you thank you no but seriously it smells so good I love it love it love, 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 love it so I think I told you guys everything that I wanted to tell you I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful I hope that you guys try some of these like crazy tips of mine and try out that shampoo. I would appreciate it if you guys would give me a thumbs up because that really helps my channel out. And subscribe by pressing the red button next to my picture. That way you guys can receive a little notification for every time I upload a video and you guys can stay tuned for my future uploads. So I will see you guys all next time. Bye. Mwah.